Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. I decided I would pop in today since my husband is home to do a little video for you guys. Um, I wanted to show you guys um, sort of how I'm going to plan out a bookshelf sort of reading layout in my Hobonichi weeks. Um, and yeah, so I thought I would show you guys. Actually, I'd flip through really quick on... If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen my January monthly, but I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing for February. Um, added a little bit of washi tape and some stickers, and I think it's looking really cute so far, but this is what I have for my monthly, and I promise I will be doing a week's um, flip through video eventually, just when I have a little bit more time. But today I wanted to show you guys um, using the newest stencil to my shop, this bookshelf stencil. Actually, I've bundled it with my um, Hobonichi one, which a lot of you guys already have. This is just the normal weeks one. Um, but then I just added these two, and I'll be using this one today to show how I do sort of a bookshelf layout. And, um, well, I guess the other one is a banner one, which I might use on the very top. But um, I did this layout here to kind of show my favorite washi tapes using the bookshelf stencil. And I kind of did sort of a floating shelf layout here. But then I think for my reading one, I wanted to do more of a, um, like a traditional bookshelf, similar to the one that I have for my um, personal sized planner. So I guess let's get started. So I'm gonna start out using um, a 03 Pigma Micron pen. And the reason is because I wanna sort of make um, the outlines a little bit more bold and then I'll switch to writing the names of the books that I'm reading into the Pigma Micron 01. So what I'm gonna do is probably use these medium sized banners here and I'll show you guys what I've been doing lately and really, really loving. Um, so books has five letters so I'm gonna use this third one here. This is gonna be my center marking so put that right in the middle. Um, and you'll just outline this. So you're gonna kind of go on both sides of it. So it's gonna go B, O, O, and then K, S. So what I'm gonna do is take this far left one and place it where the middle one was. And then you should have a very hopefully centered outline. There we go, perfect. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do a little bit of a drop shadow. So I'm gonna shift it a little bit down to the right down into the right, sorry, there we go. And then all you do is put that far left one where you were and follow along. Then it should be pretty even. And then I'm going to actually switch to the zero one at this point because I want books to look a little bit smaller. And then for the banner string part, I've been using the thinner pointed tip as well just to make it look more like string-like with a lighter hand like that. And then you just connect, connect the little banners. But what I've been loving is the use of my micron, or not micron, my mild liners. I've been using these a lot in a lot of my layouts. Uh, I don't wanna be sneak peeking too much here, but let's see, like here, for example, prep. I've been kind of doing the banner and then um, coloring around the letter, leaving some white space in between, and I think it's been looking really, really cute. So to achieve that, what I do first is I take the mild liner and I circle around the letter or number. In this case, letters, so I just go like that, leaving kind of like a little bit of white space around each one. And the reason I do that first is because I noticed when I was trying to color them in, I would always sort of touch the letter and then it doesn't give such a cool effect that you do if you were to circle it first. So like a little bit of a tip there. So it looks like um, books is really highlighted here. Loving that. <laughs> so that was just using this banner one here and then going to the actual bookshelf one. So for if you wanted to do sort of floating shelves, you can use this side one right here. But for the traditional bookshelf, I'm likely going to use it just like this. So taking the 03, um, you just center it as best as you can. I'm probably going to do mm, something that's closer to this. Okay. And just do a rectangle. And then what I'm going to do to space it is just use the top of the stencil to mark where the other line was so that the shelves become evenly spaced. Three. All right. 
right, and I think I could fit one more here. Hopefully I'm still on screen. All right. So our son is taking a little nap, so my husband is watching him while I film this video, so nice of him. But it's a lot harder to plan out what you're gonna do when you have a new baby, but it's been great. He just got his shots today, so we're just kind of taking it easy. All right, there we go. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of outlining to make kind of the outline of the shelf here. You could also use a ruler if you want. I'm actually gonna turn this around, make it a little bit easier for me. Um, yeah, and so in terms of books, um, Jason, our son, tends to nap quite a bit right now. I know that might change later, but I've been doing quite a bit of reading during his nap time. Reading and just like journaling and drawing. And yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for books that you love, please let me know. I'm always looking for a good book. I do kind of like the sort of <laughs> like Twilight Hunger Game type books, but um, yeah, but any recommendation will be good. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, I did want to mention, this is one thing I didn't appreciate until I was actually cutting the washi tape out. If you end up doing a washi tape spread, um, I sort of measured out these boxes here to be the thickness of a standard washi tape. And then I also have for the slightly thinner rolls, um, they fit into this, these areas right here. So what that means is if you're like drawing this out here, or here, you draw it and then you take your washi tape and you just have to pull and then cut. So you don't need to reduce any of the width because the width is already accommodated into that. So just if you guys, these are kind of like the more common um, widths of washi tape. This is from, I think this is from Michaels maybe. This is definitely from Michaels. This I think was from Michaels too. I'm not 100% sure though, but that's kind of nice. So anyway, um, either way you can still use the same thing. Oops. Oh my goodness, so sorry. Um, you can use the same same thing for your books. So let's see here. I'm going to take this right here and do one book here. All right. And then I'm probably going to take mm -hmm, this one here. And then I'm going to do maybe another one, a shorter one. Give us some variety. You can kind of change it up based on if you have like a book with a shorter title. I don't really have anything in mind right now, but I'm just kind of going along. And then let's see here. I'm gonna do All right, and then you can kind of vary the heights a little bit by shifting it down. And then you can bring it back up if you want. You can make it even smaller, but I think because I'm doing book titles and likely the author, I'll make most of them a little bit taller. And then on this, I also have um, some planter type face things on the bottom here. So one trick is, let's see, is there enough space there? Let's use this one. Instead of putting it right at the line, it's actually kind of cute if you shift it up just a little bit. And I'll show you guys why in a second. Leave a little bit of a space here. And what you can do is kind of like add feet or you can have made it one big base. Um, I think it's kind of cute like that. So that's what I'll do for that. And then let's use this other planter over here. This one I won't move up quite as much. All right, just like that. And then I'll do rounded feet for this one. So I think it adds a little bit, and I'll, sh I'll add some plants in in a second, but I wanna use my zero 01. I'm using the zero 03 right now. All right, let's see. So yeah, if you have any good reads that aren't too involved nothing too serious please let me know definitely looking for good books um all right and then these here are book ends so i'm going to put one over here i'm 
and then probably add two more. I did one of these bookshelf spreads in one of my personal size planners in the past and I really, really loved it. I got a lot of book recommendations off of, I think, a Facebook group. Um, so that was pretty cool. Hopefully you guys can still see this good. And then this here is kind of large, but kind of made that too big. That's okay. I think I can still fit it. If you're going to do your shift yours over a little bit, this is going to be our alarm clock. I would recommend doing the smaller, the inside part before the outside part, just so you have like um, a better gauge as to line it up in the middle. But I was worried about spacing, so I did it that way instead. And then we'll just do a time to 22. There we go. And we'll just say PM. Something like that. Okay. So that's the base, the base of it. I might do another shelf later, but maybe not on camera here. And then let's see, I'm going to draw some flowers. So I'm going to extend that above a little bit. So you can see I'm just kind of doing some squiggles, but for these little, I'm not sure what kind of flower this is, but the squiggles look pretty nice. So yeah, it's really easy to do. And if it's too perfect, it actually looks a little bit strange, so it's better to make it slightly, slightly messy. I think it actually gives it a little bit of something extra. Okay, maybe I'm going a little bit overboard here. Okay, so we'll do it like that. And then this one here, maybe I'll do like um, some kind of succulent. which by the way, I have totally neglected my plants. I feel so bad. So maybe today I'll go out and give them some love. I've just been so busy. It's like a full-time job being a mom, but extremely rewarding. All right, so something like that, great. Okay, so let's see. What I'll probably do next is color some things in. Let's see. So I will use, actually I'm gonna use a combination of, I picked out some greens and browns and grays here. Some Tombow brush pens along with probably some of my mild liners. So I'm gonna start with this purple um, using the kind of bullet tip end. I'm just gonna roughly color that in. And then for the green here, I'm probably going to use this 192 brush pen. And oops, kind of messing up a little. That's okay. And then I'm going to do a slightly darker one. Is this darker? 312. Let's see. This might not even be the right shade here. Okay, that's not bad. Just kind of add a little bit of a highlight there. And then I'm going to use, let's see, this gray color this. So if my shadow is down here. I'm going to leave some white space up there. And let's see here. And I'm going to go in again. So if our light is up here, everything on the lower right will be a little bit darker. So you can highlight that way. You don't have to though. And then I wanted to maybe make this planter a yellow. So this is the bullet tip of the yellow mild liner. Okay, color the feet. And let's see, with this little alarm clock here, I'm gonna use this kind of red tone one. All right, just like that. Okay, and then you don't have to color the shelf in. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Okay, these, um, Brush pens are really amazing. If you guys use Tombows, let me know your favorite colors. I have favorites for kind of doing shadows and such, but I haven't really used any of my other ones too much before. So I'm starting to kind of really use them to color now, and I think they're just amazing. They don't really even 
bleed too much on the backs of the pages. Actually, there's no bleeding, sorry. There's a little bit of ghosting, but there is no bleeding with these. And if you mess up, it's pretty easy to kind of white it out if you need to. All right. Just like that. Perfect. So that's pretty much the base of the bookshelf. Um, I added some wood lines here, but um, the next thing I wanted to do is kind of write in the titles here, some of the books I've been reading or have read. So this one, I'll use the one here. I read The Darkest Minds, which was pretty good. Um, haven't seen the movie yet. It did not rate very well. I'm not sure why, but Alexandra, I'm going to put, I'm going to run out of room, so I'm going to put Alexandra B. Echo Room, so I'm going to just flip this here. Sorry if that's confusing. Echo, Echo Room, that's by Parker getting a little messy. Sorry guys, probably should have kept to non-cursive. Um, that's okay. Oops, gonna go back this way. Perfected. Let's see if we do a non-cursive here. Kate Jarvik Butch. That looks better. And then here we're gonna do Legend the first book was Caravel, which was really, really, really good. I think there's a third one coming out soon by Stephanie Garber. So if you guys are looking for a good book and you like those kinds of books, let me know or check it out. Oh, actually, I'm going to add a couple things here. So this little tag gives it like, um, oops, I'm using the wrong pen here, but it makes it look like, oh, that's the, the book the book edge. What is this called? The spine of the book. There we go. Sorry. Gives it a little bit of detail here, which I think is kind of cool. Not all of them need one, but you can go a little happy here with the bookends, but there we go. Very cute. All right. So that's pretty much what my bookshelf will look like. Do I need, actually, maybe I will add something here, a light gray. Mm, yeah. This looks quite dark, actually. Not what I wanted. That's okay. That's a little bit lighter. Not bad. And then I'm just going to color in this book in while we're at it. Might as well. All right. Okay, there we go. So. If you guys do this, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see your bookshelves. Um, again, these are for the Hobonichi Weeks. Technically, you could probably use this in a different planner too, but it was meant to be specifically into this one. Um, same with these two other stencils. But they are bundled. I'll link it down below. And for those of you who have been asking, you'll be happy to know that I did just pick up the Hobonichi A6 original um, size planner so I hope to be creating some new stencils soon and I can check that off my bucket list for the year um, or list of things to do for the year um, but um, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video if you guys have more video ideas in the future let me know I'd love to hear your thoughts follow me on Instagram and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye guys